Hey hi this is Varsha and welcome to the QA World in my YouTube channel. So today in this session I will tell you how we can write a first script. So basically I have created a one series for selenium automation where I am starting from the very basic level to advanced level. And I will show you how we can use different types of builds in selenium, how we can take screenshot on failure test cases, how we can generate a test execution report and how we can get the logs. So here I will show you each and everything about Selenium, Test10G and UI automation basically. Basically you can learn to create a framework from scratch level. What are the components we have to kept in our uh, framework? What are the modules we have to add in framework? How we can use that modules? So I will tell you each and everything about Selenium in this particular series. So now it, and, and you also know nowadays Selenium is on high priority. If you don't have any experience in Selenium UI automation, you can just simply refer these videos or this series. I'm definitely sure you will get an expert in this Selenium in UI automation. So yeah, let's start with this uh, first video where I'll show you how we can launch the browser, where we can pass the URL. Basically in UI automation, first we have to open a browser and we have to open that particular website which we want to automate. So how we can launch the browser, how we can pass the URL that I'll show you with the demo. Yeah, so let me start. Yeah, so here I'm using IntelliJ ID for showing you the demo. And uh, I had created simply Maven framework, uh, the name with sample Selenium framework. So in this Maven framework, I'm just creating a package. Let me right click on that new package and I'm just giving package name is first test and inside this first test package let me create a one Java class so my class name is launch browser and uh, as this is a very simple Java class so let me add a main method public static void main string yeah, yes. yeah, so our main method is done and after that let me initialize a browser. So in Selenium we have uh, one interface using that we can initialize the browser. Web driver, driver is equals to new Chrome driver. So what exactly the Chrome driver here? So in Selenium for every browser we have separate driver classes. This Chrome driver class for Chrome browser and uh, if you want to launch a Firefox browser then we, you can use Firefox driver, this one. And if you want to use Microsoft as, so you can add as, well, as driver as well. Yeah, this one. So here I am using Chrome driver basically for launching the Chrome browser. So I web driver is uh, initialized so basically this statement will initialize the browser initiate the browser the Chrome browser basically yeah and uh, let me show you like our browser is uh, launching or not so let me run this script it will take a few moments basically so let it be run yeah yeah so our browser is launched basically but as we have not passed any url here any web url so that's why uh, the it is not redirected to any website so let me uh, tell you how we can pass the URL. So in Selenium, we have one method like get method. So using this method, we can pass the URL to uh, the browser and uh, the URL should be in string. So here I'm just using a uh, google.com uh, google browser, https colon double slash www dot google.com yeah so while you are just uh, typing the url please make sure like your url should be complete or url should be correct 
like uh, you have added this HTTP protocol or not. So I just simply used google.com here. Let me rerun our script. So it will launch the browser and it will pass google.com, right? So this way we can launch the browser and uh, whatever website we want to open, we can uh, just uh, uh, pass the URL. And by default, Selenium will uh, open this browser and uh, uh, but it is not maximizing basically. So we can say like uh, to maximize the particular browser, we have to use one statement. So let me show you how we can maximize this browser. Here we can use driver.manage.window.maximize. Yeah. So basically this statement will maximize our window. Maximize the browser. And let me run. So first it will launch the browser and then it will pass the URL and see it is already uh, maximized. So earlier when I was not used that maximize uh, statement, so it was not uh, maximizing this window. So yeah, that's it for today's video and uh, thanks for watching. So if you have any doubt regarding this video or regarding this concept, please feel free to ask anytime. Or if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video.